Hello everyone, The Structure here. Apologies for not uploading recently, I'm gonna go more into that later down this video, but we're gonna get to the topic at hand, and this is a little crazy, this kinda caught me off guard and probably many others, but we now have the star emoji. I would assume, I, would, I guess you could call it a star emoji, but it is a star and it's got this trail behind it, and this was tweeted around 5.12 p.m. my time, and it kind of caught me off guard, so we're just going to talk about it. We're just going to talk about it and see what is possible that comes from this emoji. I'm not going to speculate, but I am going to give my ideas and uh, hopes to see what could come with this update. So let's get right into it. So a common thing that I would hear from people that they would want in the game, and this was like even way back in the day, like even when the game came out back in 2016, was that planets should orbit the star, like physically accurate. They don't, they don't orbit the stars. If you ever look at the sky, if you're on a planet, or even if you're on a space station and you're at the very entrance and you see planets, you'll notice that the sky box moves, but the actual planets don't orbit around their star, the moons don't orbit around their planet, etc, etc. So, Maybe this could indicate that planets orbit stars, but that would be a very minor feature. That would probably be like a quality of life update kind of thing. I don't think they would base an entire update that they would call a major update. I don't think they would base that off of, you know, just a smaller feature like that. Even though that's big for the game and immersion, that wouldn't necessarily be a driving factor of the update. Now another thing that this could mean is probably new star systems, newer types of star systems, like we got the dissonant star system, I guess subtype, it back in April, I think it was April 2023, with the interceptor update. And that was pretty cool and that added a whole new layer to the game just because of the corrupted planets. And that was a whole different subtype that you can now find in the game. So what if this is an update that adds some kind of new star system? You have a red, you have a green, you have a blue, but maybe you have a purple. Maybe you have a yellow. Well, we already have yellow. That's just the normal star systems, but you get my point. The point is, is maybe there could be newer types of star systems with this update. Maybe that could be a possibility, but maybe they're working on other things like like we've seen before in in the trailers so this is probably not even an idea on the list so we're just gonna move forward and see what else we can come up with now another thing that I just thought of is maybe because of the way the star emoji is formed in the way that it was made it's not only just a star but it's also got a curve to it so maybe if you think about it maybe this could be a like a signature of the loop the Leviathan Expedition was all about the loop and it kind of went into more depth about how the loop works and what actually happens when you go through one loop to the next so maybe this could be related to the loop but again I think that's a very minute thing that they would just throw into an update like a very small feature like a quality of life update I don't think this would be anything huge for the game but we, we don't know we don't know. This could mean anything. Like, anything. So we have no clue. And don't take any of my words as confirmation or expectation. Because whatever you think is going to come is your expectation. But don't set your expectations too high. So let's move on to the next one. Well, it's been a while since I've paused and unpaused the recording. But I think the only thing that I can really think of from this emoji is the space stations. The whole thing with the star and the curve could signal the orbit and the stations do, they don't orbit around planets, like a particular planet, but they orbit around the, like the pretty much what we would call the middle of the system, but it's not really the middle because the sun isn't a physical object. Maybe this could be revolving around the space stations and that seems to be the most likely because we've already seen them in the trailer. They were advertised in the same trailer together with the Storborn Runnership and the Outlaw Dreadnought, which we can now own, and we can also use the Starborn Runnership from the Omega Expedition. So that seems to be pretty much like the only things that I can think of at the moment. Maybe I might add some more in the description if I think some 
but I don't think there's any other possibilities. Maybe this could just be an update to star systems. It could be as small as that, even though that would be huge for the game. But at the same time, we don't know. So anyway, if you have any ideas or anything that you can think of that I didn't mention in this video, please leave a comment. I want to hear some ideas. I want to see what people are saying. I'm excited. Usually these kind of updates are a little bigger than the February update or the early first year update. So anyway, let's get to it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do all the YouTube stuff, all the content creator stuff, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you're interested in the videos. And yeah, to protect and serve.